Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'm going to show you guys the fastest way to level your guns up in Warzone, Multiplayer and Zombies. So if you've just got any of those for Christmas or you've got a new console to play on, I'm going to show you the fastest way to level your guns up. But quickly before we do jump into it, if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications so you don't miss any more videos on the channel. If you do enjoy it, smash thumbs up and let me your thoughts on this in the comments below. But let's jump straight into it right now. Okay guys, so just quickly before we get into it, I want to say a quick Merry Christmas to everyone. And I'm assuming a lot of you guys would have just got Modern Warfare 3 or a new console to play Warzone on for Christmas. And you might want to know the fast way to level your guns up. So I'm going to show you that exactly right now. I'm not going to load into games because my game has honestly crashed about 12 times trying to record this video in the last 10 minutes. Don't know what's going on and it probably will do it again. But what you want to do, the first thing, is load into a game of Plunder. This is how you want to do it if you've only got Warzone. So you're going to come over to your weapons, obviously set your class up so you've got whatever guns it is you're trying to level up. Let's say, for example, I'm trying to level the Bruin up. I'm going to have it in my hand. That's going to be the gun I level up with. And the reason we want to play Plunder is because we spawn with the gun straight away. And if we die, we get back in with the gun as well. So you're always going to have that gun in hand. Obviously, you want to carry on playing as you normally would. Run around, try and get kills, try and get assists and all that sort of stuff. But the main thing with Plunder is run around and complete contracts. Do scavengers and different things like that. You don't even have to do contracts where you have to kill people. So you can avoid bounties. You can avoid most wanted. But just try and complete a bunch of contracts where you can run around and actually get a whole bunch of XP. And the main thing thing you want to make sure you're doing is when you can fit when you finish a contract like if it's the last scavenger box that you've got to open make sure you have got for my example right now i've make sure i've got my bruin in my hand as i open that last box because that's the gun the xp is going to go to if i have the wsp swarm on my back the xp isn't going to go towards that it's going to go to the bruin which is the gun in my hand so when you're finishing those contracts make sure the gun you're trying to level up is the one that's out and it's in your hand so then you can actually get the xp go towards that and that is the easiest way of doing it and plunder and in warzone in general because like i said you're going to spawn in with your gun you can get kills with the guns you're trying to level up straight away off the rip you can use it but then like i said doing those contracts is going to make it so much faster you can quite easily run around have a card to get from contract to contract and if you've got a full squad trying to do this it's going to be very very easy especially like i said if you're avoiding the ones that are like bounties and most wanted you can do a lot of the contracts in game where you don't have to fight anyone you can just fly around the map in a vehicle four man deep you can just run around and complete these nice and easily like i said the one thing you want to make sure you're doing is having that gun that you are trying to level up in your hand at the time of finishing a contract now let's move on to multiplayer i'm gonna try and keep this video nice and short so you guys haven't got to waste a lot of time on your boxing day or in your christmas period to watch this video so next move on to zombies again zombies is very similar to plunder we're going to be able to spawn in obviously with the gun we're trying to level up because we can select it you're going to come to your gear you can come to your loadout and select your insured slot as the weapon you are trying to level up you're going to go into a game and then you don't need anything else in particular i'm just going to load into a game and once again what you're going to want to do is go ahead and try and complete some of your acts because the XP you're going to get from your axe is also going to go towards your weapon. So if you've only just got the game and you're still on Act 1, you can fly through these pretty easily. Again, if you've got a full squad, it's going to become even easier to do that. But completing a lot of these acts are going to give you a big boost of XP for completing them, which are also going to give you some weapon XP as well. So again, if you've got that gun in your hand that you're trying to level up by completing an axe, you are going to get some weapon XP for it. Obviously, killing zombies is going to be great. But the main thing, once again, is completing contracts. If you stay in the tier 1 zone, you get this gun pack punch. It's going to do plenty of damage in the tier 1 zone. Should be nice and easy to do. Just run around completing contracts because every time you complete contracts, just like we do in Plunder, we're going to get a bunch of XP going towards that gun as well. And of course, at the minute, it's a triple weapon XP or a triple XP weekend. So you've got double XP active. Obviously, if you don't have double XP active at the time of watching this, just click on, just go and put some double XP tokens on because obviously it's going to speed up the process. But yeah, in zombies, it's very simple. Like I said, complete the axe and also complete a bunch of contracts. And the other thing you can do is do the X-Fill glitch at the end of the game. So you can go to the X-Fill zone, let a whole bunch of zombies spawn in, kill them all, then wait for the X-Fill chopper to fly off, call in another X-Fill, stand there and just keep getting a whole bunch of zombies to respawn. But the best way for actually leveling up guns in my opinion is by doing contracts because you're going to get a big boost of xp every time you do complete a contract and once again make sure you've got that gun in your hand as you are completing them and then finally guys for multiplayer what you're going to want to do is come down and find some of the game mode so you've got a couple of different options here of course at the minute i think shipment 24 7 is out so shipment's great for it just because there's a lot of action going on all the time but one thing you definitely want to make sure you're doing if you're playing shipment is playing for the objective. So if let's say, for example, you get kill confirmed, hardpoint, domination. It doesn't matter what game mode you get. You want to be playing objective because you're going to get XP for collecting tags and kill confirmed. You're going to get XP for ca capturing the hardpoint and then capturing flags and domination. So whatever game mode you are playing on shipment, you want to make sure you are actually playing for the objective as well because this is going to go towards your weapon XP. But shipment's also great, right? Because you're going to get a lot of kills, a lot of assists. And one big thing you definitely want to make sure you're doing, guys, 
guys is come here you want to make sure you put the engineer vest on and your tacticals are going to be decoy grenades every time you spawn in after dying you want to throw all three of your decoy grenades into the middle of the map and these are going to help you get more weapon xp because every time you get a decoy distract assist you are going to get weapon xp for that so just throw them into the middle of the map it's going to be nice and easy and then like i said if you're playing shipment you just want to head and just get as many kills and assists as you can but also play the objective as much as you can pick up those tags and kill confirmed capture the flags capture the hard points and things like that however if you don't want to play shipment what you want to do guys is load into a game of domination or hard point you can do kill confirmed as well kill confirmed can be really good for uh, xp the only thing is it's a shorter game mode but the reason domination and hard point are so good is because they are longer game modes and the longer you are in a game the more match xp you're going to get and some of that match xp does go towards your weapon xp as well so it's going to help you level those guns up if you want to play kill confirmed make sure you are capturing for tags all the time you want to be capturing tags every time you die every time you get a kill every time one of your teammates gets a kill you just want to be capturing as many uh, tags as you possibly can because it is going to be the best way to level your guns up in kill confirmed but domination and hard point in my opinion are a bit better you get a few you get quite a bit more kills quite a few more assists and again you can you can still play the objective and capture the hard point and capture the flag in domination so those are the best game modes for multiplayer and those are the fastest way to level your guns up in modern warfare 3 warzone and zombies hopefully the video has helped you out if it has be sure to smash thumbs up subscribe to the channel notification if you haven't already enjoy the rest of christmas and i'll catch you in the next one in a bit Ooh.